Billions of people at some stage in their lives deal with the habit of biting their nails. Many will do anything to try to stop. Using strategies like rubbing hot pepper on the skin or wearing gloves all day. Or imagine bacteria crawling on their fingers. Although we are not all nail biters, most of us have a habit we'd like to kick. So what's the best way to break one? Scientists know habits as behaviors that are regularly done and are stimulated unconsciously by responding to certain environments, whether it's a place or a time of day, or even an emotional state, and can include simple actions like plucking your hair when stressed, but also more complex practices embedded in the daily routine, like uh, staying up late or making coffee in the morning. If you're doing something repeatedly without much thought, it's likely a habit. It forms because at some stage, your mind learns that the behavior is beneficial. Assuming that after opening a tiring email, you started doing your nails. This is a certainty, as merely checking your email is enough to feed your anxiety. Positive experiences can trigger dopamine, a neurotransmitter that mediates pleasure sensations. Dopamine is also one of the factors of neuroplasticity, meaning it can change the way neural cells connect and fire. Your brain builds links connecting reward to behavior, pushing you to repeat it. It also starts associating the behavior with other signals, like your environment. In the end, all you need is the context in which you sit at your desk to stimulate the unconscious habit of nail biting. No need for an exhausting email or a feeling of relief. Once created, signaling, behavior, and reward cycles operate faster than the decision-making process. In the end, you might find yourself acquiring a habit before you have a chance to notice and stop. But this can be a good thing. Not all habits are bad. These are stored memories of past successes, allowing you to act swiftly in the present. One study estimated that on average. People spend more than 40% of their days performing habitual behaviors while their minds are occupied with other thoughts. For example, a morning routine seems automatic, saving you precious time and mental energy. However, many people have habits that no longer serve them. However, research shows that intentions alone often fail to cause long-term behavioral change. This does not mean that you can't get rid of this habit. Indeed, by understanding the basics of habits, you can create better plans to change them. For example, we know that habits are often influenced by the environment and routine. Lying on the bed can make you scroll your phone endlessly. Or watching TV on the couch might lead to snacking on sugar. One of the most effective ways to manage behavior is to identify these places or times of the day and then try to modify it by changing your routine or creating obstacles that increase the difficulty of practicing the habit in that space. Transitioning or changing jobs or even starting a new program. These are particularly great times to get rid of a habit or build a new one. A 2005 study monitored the physical activity of university students, like the habit of reading and watching TV before and after going to school. When students no longer lived in their old environments and routines, their habits, even the strong ones, changed significantly. For habits like nail biting or hair pulling, a practice called reverse habit training can be beneficial. It was developed by psychologists in the 70s with the aim to change a habit by replacing it with a less decisive one. Training requires you to analyze and understand the signals of your habits so that you can effectively intervene in a timely manner. For example, if you tend to bite your nails at work, keep a toy on your desk in advance. So, if you receive a tiring email, use the game when you feel the urge to do your toenails. Breaking a habit takes time, so remember to give yourself motivation and patience during this process. While many focus on their bad habits, we also need to focus on good habits, which help us move quickly and successfully through our daily routine. Thank you.